Hello, welcome back to another episode of the Chicago White Sox March to October. We are in the playoffs. It is the ALDS against the Houston Astros. And real quick before we start, I want to mention the last episode I said to start letting me know what teams I should do next for March to October's and I got a couple comments. So I think specifically the teams that were mentioned were the Mets, the Twins, the Brewers, and then specifically I was said to not do the Cubs. So keep those uh, keep those comments coming if you have any teams that you would like to see me do the next March to October with. Keep letting me know. And hey, it might be uh, it might be kind of important to get those suggestions in there pretty soon because we dropped the first game to the Astros here so you never know how much longer this uh, March to October series is gonna go but hey I remain optimistic we uh we played a really close game we ended up losing in the 11th so it's not like we were overmatched or anything the Astros are obviously a really good team but we are also a really good team obviously we went 101 and 61 in the regular season so we can hang with anybody so we're getting an opportunity here to even up the series one to one we're entering the game in the fifth with a tie game at zero so the white Sox, if you missed the series opener they got off on the wrong foot with a game one loss so heidi how are they feeling now headed into game two well, Matt, game one obviously didn't shake out the way they hoped, but several of the players told me that one game is not enough to shake their confidence. If they can play well and do the little things right and even up the series today, they feel like they'll be in good shape heading into a best of three scenario for the rest of this round. So I wonder if that little head to head thing was uh, just like in terms of postseason numbers or if that was like overall in the season because that that's kind of interesting to me if this is like the first time that we're playing the Astros this season I, I feel like that can't be true right you're not going to go an entire season without playing against someone in your league but we got Jordan Montgomery who got the start in this game he's throwing a pretty good game so far no runs allowed obviously and I think I saw that he had only given up four hits and with it only being the fifth we might see him for a couple of innings before I go to take him out. It seems like he's got plenty of energy. So as long as he can uh, keep the Astros off the bases and off the scoreboard, he should be doing fine. And we got the first out there on a strikeout. Springer was looking. That's his seventh strikeout, too. Oh, and the fastball got him looking again. That's two strikeouts looking in this inning so far. Oh, Maldonado, I am tired of Martin Maldonado in this series already. Brantley turned on that, but uh, it was definitely inside, so it would have been tough to do anything more than a fly out to right field with that. We get out of the first inning, no runs allowed. Let's put up some runs early. Let's make them feel the pressure this time. And I forgot to mention that last one, and part of it was just because I didn't even realize. But why was Lance McCullers pitching game one for them? <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, they have Verlander. He's pitching game two. Why would Verlander not be your game one guy? They also have Grinky and someone else that I'm forgetting about. But I feel like McCullers is like usually their fourth guy, right? Am I wrong? But I don't know. I guess in this situation, it kind of worked out for them because they got the win with McCullers. And now with their dominant Verlander on the mound, they're putting themselves in a pretty good position to go up 2-0. But it doesn't matter to me who's on the mound because we're gonna we're gonna put up runs and that slider got me. Man, I thought it was gonna be a fastball on a 3-2 count. Look at Grandal in his career against Verlander. In the bottom right, it said he was six for thirteen with a bomb. That's that's pretty good. Oh, and there's another bomb. There's another bomb to add to that line. Yeah, Grandal getting that one out. I actually wasn't sure at first. <laughs> it seemed like I was, but I wasn't. But that one leaves Grandal off of Verlander, giving us that one to nothing lead in this game. Oh, Abreu, did he just do something too? All right, it's getting down and bouncing over, so that's a double. Off the bat, I thought we might have just gone back to back, but a two out double? Gonna get our guy in second there, and Leori's up. And yeah, I forgot once again to change the lineup. So the next game also is gonna have this uh, flawed 
lineup here that I don't want. I want Danny starting, not Lavery. Oh, and I went swinging at that pitch below the zone. Not going to do anything with that one, but hey, we got our lead. We're putting the pressure on them. I think that's probably our first lead of this series so far. Uh-oh, is that staying in or not, or did I just... Oh, no. Oh, well, Altuve must have gotten buzzed on that one because... That was a curveball. I guess I hung it though. Ooh, and that ball. Man, how did he hit that ball so well? That was a two seam tailing out of the zone. I don't even think I missed my spot. All right, but I think, yeah, all right, Larry makes the play. So we get out of the inning without giving up the lead, but we, I mean, we did technically give up the lead because the game's tied now. Oh, in the bottom right. Wait, did... Okay. It just said Robert won Rookie of the Year. There's no way to go in and actually look at that on the March to October screen, but it just popped up in the bottom right saying that Luis Robert won Rookie of the Year. We gotta, we gotta string together hits. Like, I don't want to just be trying to hit solo homers off of Verlander. We gotta, we gotta put some balls in the gap, get some singles, draw a walk or two. I want rallies. There's Tim Anderson. I wasn't sure. I thought that might be getting caught. You know what? I'm going to hold him at first, actually. He probably would have made it, but it seemed like it seemed like the left fielder got to that ball kind of quickly. Eloy's keeping it going. Base hit to left field. This is, uh, is kind of exactly what I was talking about with the rally. No. Oh, it went foul. Okay, good. Whew. Oh my god! Oh, I was not missing that. <laughs> that was his fourth 12 6 curve in a row he threw that at bat. I don't know what Verlander was thinking out there on the mound, but if you're gonna hang a 12 6 curve that bad when you've just thrown three in a row, you better be ready for that ball to sail into the 14th row. Mankata did not miss that. We had perfect timing, perfect placement, and just like that, we're up in this game 4-1. to one. That's exactly what I had just said before Anderson hit that double, is I want to get rally started. I don't want solo home runs. I want three-run home runs like that. Oh, and now Edwin. Edwin might have done it too. Yeah, it's gone just barely over the wall, but now Edwin's putting one out too. And just like that, this game has been broken wide open. We're taking a four-run lead here off of Verlander in the sixth? Yeah, it's the bottom of the sixth. And I feel a lot better about leaving Montgomery on the mound now that we have such a lead. And that's a good start. One pitch, one out. It'd be pretty big if Montgomery could go even further in this game. We used uh, we used a couple bullpen arms. Ooh, two pitches, two outs? That's perfect. But I was going to say, we used a bunch of bullpen arms. A lot of guys minimally, so they're not like super tired. But Giles, we used a lot. So it'd be nice to uh, give everyone a rest if we can. Get them back up to full and get Giles some of his stamina back some of his energy oh we get Brantley swinging what was that <laughs> he's that might have been the latest swing I've ever seen and Verlander is out of this game now Brad Peacock coming in and a Bray you on the first pitch that one could leave I don't know if it has enough it does oh what is going on in this game everyone's hitting for power <laughs> Abreu barely puts that one over the wall. I couldn't even tell. That might have hit the top of the wall. But man, first pitch scene from the new pitcher. And Abreu's taking him deep right away. Let's keep pouring it on. I want to make a statement in this game to the Astros. I want to tell them that we are not to be messed with. That first game was a fluke. And the third out of the inning is a grounder right to first base. 
We only have three more outs to get in this one until we even this series up. Mankata just went deep again. Another perfect, perfect. Oh, and that's his second home run of the game. Our, what, fourth solo home run of the game as a team? Fifth team home run overall? <laughs> and Mazzara, just for good measure, is going to go deep too. Our sixth home run of the game now. Five different players with a home run. We can't be stopped. And you know what? Screw it. Let's have Montgomery try and go CG here. Well, that's not the best start. Base hit allowed there. Oh, the ground ball. Oh, Edwin, you got to stop doing that. That's why I got to fix this lineup, because I'm pretty sure Abreu would have made that play. Abreu's not a great fielder, but I think he's just a little bit better than Edwin, and he probably would have uh, fielded that one cleanly. We would have had a double play. Blooper there, Robert. Oh, he gets there. I was not sure. That red thing popped up right at the end, but he still, he still caught that one off of his shoe tops. And now there's the ground ball. Let's turn this quick. Okay. I guess we're extending this game one more batter. We can't turn two, it seems like. Oh, and here's Maldonado, of course. Oh, Maldonado with the fly ball to right. We're going to get him out this game. We are. We do it. 8-1 to one victory in game two of the series. We even it up 1-1. One to one. And more than anything, that was a statement game. We didn't just win. We made a statement. Six home runs hit in that game by five different players. Our pitcher went the full nine. And we, I guess, bring our momentum back to an even. I don't, I think it, that's so small that it's not even positive. But I don't, like I said, I don't even think it matters in the postseason because I'm pretty sure we play every single game. Well, this next game is probably the earliest I've ever seen <laughs> jumping into a game of March to October here. So we're definitely going to save that one for the next episode. Taking a look here at the uh, postseason so far, I think both the Mets and the Yankees were up 2-0 on the verge of a sweep. And uh, both of them have now lost that opportunity at a sweep. The Mets are tied in that series now with the Cardinals. The Yankees dropped a game to the Indians, and the other series in the National League is tied up at two also, the Dodgers and Rockies. So that is going to do it for this episode. We came back and tied up this series, and now we're looking to build on that momentum and take this next one, go up 2-1 to one on the road. Make sure if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button for me. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We're closing in on 200 subscribers. So if you're watching this and you've been watching this uh, March to October here, feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to see the rest of this to completion. But that's all I've got for you guys in this one. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time.